Uh, the guy in the White House <laughs> hit prime time last night to make his pitch for the border wall, and here's what he says is at stake. There is a growing humanitarian and security crisis at our southern border. Among those hardest hit are African Americans and Hispanic Americans. As part of an overall approach to border security, law enforcement professionals have requested $5.7 billion for a physical barrier. At the request of Democrats, it will be a steel barrier rather than a concrete wall. This barrier is absolutely critical to border security. So the fact checkers had a field day with some of these. Uh, <laughs> But what are your takeaways from it? Well, they, first of all, the, steel, the Democrats never gave him any, any kind of a wall. No steel, no concrete, no straw, no, no nothing. No beaded wall, nothing. <laughs> nothing. No beaded, con what did you call it, a curtain be yeah, yeah. beading? Yeah. yeah. So that's a lie right there. I don't know why he... Well, he was saying that, like, Chuck Schumer, for example, did vote for this barrier back under he the Bush years. Did, this is the quote. The progress includes construction of 630 miles of border fence that created a significant barrier to illegal immigration on the southern land border. That's from 2009, Chuck Schumer. Yeah, That's and then the referencing. Democrats also agreed to an actual wall last January in exchange for, for the Dreamers. So but why that, didn't they give it to them? The, why well, didn't they do it Actually, the president pulled out. He yeah, made, I thought he right, made a mistake in that right. moment and pulled out of it. And now here we are. I'm upset about last night, Whoopi, because I was watching Dirty John, which is, by the way, a great show on Bravo. Yeah. Binge watching it, and I can't get this time back. I, I thought it was pathetic. I thought we got nowhere from what we heard last night. We're still now in a government shutdown. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't like the president in, in this type of setting because I think it comes across... What setting do you like him in? Well... <laughs> Whether you like what he says to the rallies, I think he's far more himself and comfortable around people that he knows like him back. I know, but then he really goes off the wall when he talks off the cop. Yeah. Then you don't well, know. At least he's saying yeah. I'm prompter. just saying, watching this last night's really I, uncomfortable, I, and this is why he doesn't like to do these. He didn't want to do but that. But you know last what? Night. Nancy and Chuck look like they were being held hostage. I also. know. I, know. Well, I, I will say, uh, you know, when he started out with it, he said. Um, he said, it strains public resources and drives down jobs and wages. Among those hardest hit are African Americans and Hispanic Americans. So as an African American and a Hispanic American, <laughs> that, that for me really was really dog whistle because what it meant was straining public resources is oftentimes dog whistle for welfare. And for the hundredth time, white, there are more white Americans on welfare than there are black Americans right. and Hispanic Americans. So, true. I, I, you know, that racial trope thrown in there right at the beginning was very offensive to me. And the sort of, you know, it drives these, you know, undocumented immigrants, drives down jobs and wages. For the hundredth time, African American women are the most educated in the United States of America. And so we aren't taking those jobs. We're taking much higher earning jobs. And so I, I think when he started out this, this speech with these dog whistle politics, I, I just thought, so here you go again as the divider in chief. Right. Here's the here thing you go that again. continues to be a source of slight irritation mm. for me. <laughs> he said, Americans, mm -hmm. the taxpayers, all Americans, that we were not going to be paying for this wall. Because who was going to pay for the wall? He said <laughs> Mexico was going to pay for the wall. Mm -hmm. Now, that's what his promise was. Over 200 times. Over 200 times he said it. Mm -hmm. And, well... You know, <laughs> but they, but you know, that, you know, that's the point of it. And, that is, mm -hmm. and, and for me, you know, whether the Democrats were going to give him money, mm -hmm. I don't understand why... Mm -hmm. On top of everything else now, America has to pay for this wall. I don't get it. I don't like it. It's BS. You said we wouldn't have to. Keep that promise. Right. Keep yeah. that yeah. promise. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's my well, promise. You know, Steve Schmidt, did you see... Did you Water see, security, yes. Did you see well, Steve Schmidt on... on, on um, I try not to look at Steve Schmidt doing anything as a joke. Oh, he's so wall. fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know you have a personal... Political right. people yeah. will get that joke. Yeah. Can, can I say something let, now? Let me just say this one right. thing, because we could be chanting this <laughs> now. Mm -hmm. He's, he said yesterday on Nicole Wallace, where are the pesos? <laughs> I thought that is a good way to chant against the, what you are saying. Mm -hmm. Where yeah. are the pesos? Yeah. Where are they? Yeah, the Mexican currency. Right, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think that's a cheap talking point on his part, but whatever.
<laughs> okay, so the crisis at the border, according to a Morning Consult political poll conducted January 4th through 6th, found 79% of all voters in the country think that there is a crisis or problem with illegal <laughs> immigration on the southern border. Uh, ben Shapiro had the best tweet, I think. All Democrats have to do is not be crazy to win 2020 because we have so much crazy right now. And when I see people like Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez doing her own rebuttal, which, by the way, was far more concise than Chuck and Nancy on Rachel Maddow last night, and she was basically demonizing border agents and ICE. The problem is, whether liberals like it or not, border security is a big issue for Americans. It's one of the major I don't reasons think Trump is, got elected president. I don't think anyone has any problem with the border security. <laughs> I, I don't think that's the issue. It's the barrier. It's, it is, the, it wall. is the wall but that I think when you're Democrats talking about getting rid of ICE, which is what she was referencing, and by the way, right. many candidates have come on and said as well, I believe Kristen Gillibrand, Cynthia Nixia did, it's a, it's now become one of the trends on the far left that is coming toward the middle. It, There's it, no I don't victory think lap. Towards the, mir the, the middle. I'm I, glad you I don't think, think that. I think most Democrats believe in border security. I think this right. crisis is, is is perhaps a humanitarian crisis, but it's a crisis started by this by president way, because this president is the one that's separating crisis families. The, there are still children who are kept in cages at yeah. the border. Can Two I? children have died. To me, that is a humanitarian Go ahead. crisis. He started. Go ahead. He started that. That actually, that policy was started under Obama, which we said that numerous Obama times on the show. Obama did not separate children He's, from he their He started parents. the Don't policy that. that was put in place. Who's yelling, tell it? I don't know if you're heckling me or supporting me, but I hope you're supporting me right now. I'm but it is a policy that was put in place under President Obama that he, that President Trump decided to enact. So that policy Separating was put in place. Separating children was not it under was Obama. It was a policy that was put in place under the Obama families. administration. He said. What I'm trying to tell you is, if Democrats want to win in 2020, don't demonize people that want hard border security. And Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez is a huge voice in the okay, party. Okay, but she, but she is not a huge, stop, please stop this. She's not a huge no, voice in the party. No, I didn't even, she just it looks got awkward here. as all holy and hell. And we have to go.